like this cup. Hi, right, buddy. Oh my god. It's a big one. These are my two favorite colors. Oh. Alright, I got something cool to show you guys today. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got a secret. To the back of the truck. Back to the end of the kicking mobile. Drop that. Like that. Let me grab my rod real quick. Alrighty guys, got my rod right here. I'm about to show you guys a little secret. You guys need to watch this video all the way through because I got a lot of good tips I want to show you. I did talk about this in one of the live streams recently, but I want, I have a lot of other good points about why this is like literally the juice, like the secret bait. And I'm not even exaggerating, like this is some juice right here. Cut off this rig right here just so I can show you guys the knot and everything I tie as well. And I'll show you what I do. I'm gonna show you guys a rod and reel combo, obviously. So, as you guys know, I have my secret tackle box. Uh, I know you guys probably saw that video. I pretty much labeled it as the secret tackle box because it literally is, because it's got some juicy baits in there. We're gonna grab bobber stops and get these for so cheap, guys. Like, literally so cheap. You get one of these bobber stops, thread it on my line. You guys all know you stick the line through that little loop and you peel that bobber stop right off like that. Slide it up your line. It's gonna leave a little nick in your line, so you're gonna need to get your scissors, cut that off. First, make sure you add your weight because it's something I always forget, which is very, very stupid, but I always forget. Add your weight before your hook. Then you're gonna add your hook. I just got a standard little old EWG. And what I'm rigging up right here is a simple little Texas rig with a, with a bullet weight. I highly recommend a bullet weight. You can run to the Texas rig without one if you guys don't have any. Tie it just like that. I didn't even explain my knot like I was just said I was going to do, but I did tie a uni knot. I need to make a video on really how to tie it because it's kind of hard to follow this in, in like a video like this. You guys are wondering what rod I'm using. It's a uh, 7 1. This is a fake chrome. 7 1 medium heavy fast. And on the reel, I got a Concept Z by 13 fishing. And the line is 15 pound. Seagar in Vizex, which is my favorite line of all time, which I've been using for years now. And now what we need, a little uh, speed cross by Zoom, which you can pretty much get anywhere. I'm actually almost out of them. I might have some more in my truck, but uh, that's a little speed cross. These are my two favorite colors of all time. You got green pumpkin, simple as it gets, and then you actually have black and red. So pretty much you're gonna have these two colors. You have the black and red, and you have the green pumpkin. Let me explain when I would use each of these. So pretty much the black and red, I would suggest using in dirty water. You know, water that's a little bit stained, it's got some dirt, dirt, dirtiness to it. And the green pumpkins that more of a natural color that you're gonna throw in this pond to have a little bit more clear water. So in this pond today, I'm actually going to throw the old black and red. I think I have another pack in there, so I think we're gonna be good. But I'm just gonna simply Texas rig it. And there you go. There you have it. Simple old Texas rig. You know, it's got the bullet weight. It's got the bobber stop, EWG hook, and then obviously the speed crawl. This is the juice right here, but it's not the juice until I explain it to you. Cause this right here is just an old simple bait. You can throw it at rivers, you can throw it at ponds, you can throw it at lakes, you're gonna catch them everywhere. I heck, I've even caught them on the near, and I've never threw a Texas rig on the near, but I've caught them pretty good. On the river, that's my go-to bait. Out on ponds, that's my go-to bait, but I'm gonna explain why once we get down to the water. So let's go ahead and walk down there. So I'm gonna show you guys three different ways to fish this little crawl right here. It's literally guaranteed for you guys to catch fish. Pretty much the reasoning on why I'm showing you guys this and is basically the secret bait of pond fishing is because this is me personally. I don't know if I'm speaking for you guys, but when I go to a pond, I hate to carry around my rods and reels. I hate carrying around three to four rods and reels. If you guys see me go pond fishing, 99% of the time you see me with one rod. That's usually because I'm walking around. I'm a fast fisherman in general, so I like to walk and cast and cover a lot of water. That's just how I am. So this bait's gonna allow you to do that, but let's talk about the first way to catch fish on this bait. First way I'm gonna show you guys to fish this is pretty much very, very simple. It's gonna be, you know, just flipping it around cover, just flipping this bait, working it on the bottom, how you would normally fish a Texas rig. So I actually got some structure here in this pond. I'm just gonna flip this crawl right up on that structure. You just simply let it sink. Simply just work it like, like a crawl or a worm or a lizard, whatever it is. And that's just the basic way to fish it. And that's one of the ways, obviously. 
Put a hop in that bait, just working it. Depending on the day, you're gonna have to figure out if you're gonna have to, you know, dead stick it, or if you're gonna have to crawl it, you know, simply dragging it on the bottom, or if you're actually gonna be hopping it. There's gonna be different ways that you're gonna have to approach this. But the main reasoning behind this is you can work this thing on the bottom just like a regular crawl, because that's what it is. And you can work this thing slow, especially if those fish are finicky that day. Just like that, that's what I enjoy doing guys and teaching you guys some simple things to catch more fish. Even though that's a little baby guy right there, that is literally one way to catch those fish right there. It's simply flipping this thing around. So you're throwing this thing up on some riprap, whatever it is, however you're fishing this, you know, fishing it on the bottom just like a normal Texas rig. That's one way and that is usually the way that you guys are gonna fish it. Simple as that. I'm not gonna talk about this way much just because that is usually how everyone's gonna fish a Texas rig. But I really wanna talk about the other ways that you can fish this thing and really catch more bass because some days you're gonna catch them better the ways that I'm showing you. Just like today, I promise you, if I was throwing this thing on the bottom, the ways I'm about to show you, I'd catch more fish. Some days these fish, you know, they want a bait moving. They don't want it on the bottom. Maybe these fish are roaming really hard one day. And, you know, they're chasing bait and they're roaming around the pond and they're roaming into the little schools and they're doing this and this and that. I mean, that's that's when you don't need to be dragging this thing on the bottom. You're gonna wanna have something moving. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. So another way to work this bait, simply just popping your rod like this and kind of swimming this thing. It's kind of kind of look like a little swim jig, you know? You're, you're adding movement to that bait and you're covering a lot more water. You know, you're not gonna be soaking this bait. You know, you're gonna be popping your rod like this cup. Just like that, baby. Just like that, baby. Come on now, give me some credit. Two casts each time. Teaching you guys different ways and I haven't even shown you, shown you the juicy way to catch bass. Look at that little fat guy. That is awesome. Look how pretty those fish are. They are super small. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, they are super small, but look at the colors and just beautiful fish. Let's get a release on this bad boy. Here's this little pretty guy. Put him right in this water. There he goes. When I was talking about a second ago, when I was when I was pretty much letting this bait sink, I was telling you guys, you know, throw that around structure, but that does not mean you can't work this thing fast by this structure. You know, you can work it all different ways by this structure. You're gonna be able to catch them every time. What this bait's doing is it has these little tails on it. And, the, and these little paddle tails on the end, when I pop my rod, the tails are fluttering. But once I pop my rod, that bait is shooting down which is gonna cause his tails to flutter when that bait falls. The reason that bait's falling is because that weight right there, that's why you wanna wait. You, can, you, you don't wanna, you wanna wait. You don't wanna rig this thing weightless and work it all these ways. If you're gonna make this bait as versatile as it gets and fish it how I'm showing you guys today, you're not gonna wanna, you're gonna have to have a weight on there. And I really suggest that bobber stop. But I'm just throwing this thing right past the structure. As you can tell, simple motions in my rod. I'm giving it a pop, the bait falls. I'm giving it another pop, the bait falls again. And that's what I'm doing every single time. I'm just throwing it out there, pop, bait's falling, pop, bait's falling. It's kind of like you're stroking the jig in a way, but you're not. And you could simply just reel this thing. Don't, don't get me wrong, you can reel this thing right under the surface and just barely give that bait a little twitch. I can throw it out there. I can reel that thing right below the surface. Give it a little twitch just every once in a while. You know, just kind of slow rolling that thing. Don't, don't be burning this thing like, like that because the fish, fish ain't gonna be able to eat it. If you throw that bait out there, just below the surface, give, that, give it a slow, steady retrieve. Pop your rod every once in a while, out in a while to give that sporadic movement because what's gonna happen is if you're reeling this bait and it's just looking, you know, it's not looking natural. It's looking natural in a way, but it's not. If you ever look at a brim or a bait fish or whatever it is that's swimming through the water, you never see one just literally sitting there swimming. Like you don't just see him swimming in a straight line and not doing anything. You know, he's gonna turn or he's gonna he's gonna flutter off or he's gonna do his thing. And pretty much that's why I'm popping my rod is because there might be a bass following that bait that doesn't wanna commit. Cause he's kind of skeptical over if this is real or this and this and that, whatever it is. That's just bass, that's, that's what bass do. That's their natural instinct. But when you pop that rod, it gives that sporadic movement and they cannot take it. That's when they really engulf that bait. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys the third and final way on how to work this bait that is probably my favorite of all time, especially with the speed crawl. 
It's gonna catch you a ton of fish. It's a small profile. You're gonna catch them every time. I'm gonna show you this tip, show you guys how to work it, this and this and that. And then we're gonna go catch some bass on all three of these techniques to throw this simple crawl right here. So the third and final technique is reeling this thing at the top of the water. So pretty much, I showed you guys the first technique, which was slow moving this bait on the bottom. So you're covering the bottom water column of the pond or the lake, wherever you're fishing. Then I showed you the second one, which was swimming this bait. You're covering either the middle or the top of the water. You know, you can really cover wherever when you're sitting there jerking that bait through the water and swimming it. So pretty much that's covering the middle of the water column. So you're covering the bottom when it's on the bottom, covering the middle when you're popping it and reeling it. And then this is for the top. So what you're gonna do, Throw that bait out there and simply reel it at the top of the water to where those tails are going to be kicking. With this weight, it's going to it's going to be a little bit harder to keep it at the top of the water, but you're still going to be able to work it the other way. So that's why you want that weight on there. And it's going to give you like the momentum to cast this thing out there. If you guys have ever thrown a horny toad by zoom, this is pretty much a baby horny toad. That's kind of how I put it. I'm going to throw this around structure. I'm going to throw it over grass. Fish keep jumping out there, so I'm going to throw in them. Swimming it right through a school of bass just like that to catch more fish. As you guys can tell, if I see fish schooling wherever it's at, gosh, look how he ate that thing right there. That is awesome. If I see a fish schooling, I'm gonna throw right in him, obviously. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let this bait usually sink to the bottom and just work it like a worm. I'm gonna actually, you know, twitch that thing and work it through those fish and try to see if I can get one of their one of the one of them is attention like i just did this one you can work it at the top but it's kind of hard with that weight when i was that far out but man what a beautiful little fish let's get him back in the water all right baby baby boy you're good to go man he interrupted me i appreciate it though i i'll take a little fish catch right there i was just telling you guys how to work it at the top showed you guys you know that second technique of popping this bait and that's how you catch more fish right there that's how versatile this bait is you saw schooling action you saw fish around cover now you're about to see some fish that are in this grass over here come up and explode on the top of this bait you ready for it He actually hit it before I could even bring it to the top. Threw it in there, clicked my reel, brought my rod up, so I popped that bait up, he just engulfed it. That was a close one. Almost got hooked in the finger. Another little bass with this little crawl. Little baby guys, but man, they're, they're, if you're catching them like this, on one of the most killer pond fishing baits like that, man, you can't complain what the size are, really. Those fish keep interrupting me. I'm gonna try to catch one on top now. Oh, he ate it too, like a little top water. First cast back in there. These fish are stacked right here up on this, in this little corner where all this grass is at. If you got any grass in your pond, shallow water, this is what you need to be throwing, I promise you. So guys, as you guys can tell, I really can't get any to come up right here, but I know there's some fish right here. So I'm gonna throw my bait in there. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. As I was talking about that, right when I threw it in there and I was gonna reel it and retrieve it back under the surface, he hammered it. That just shows that simply just changing up your technique on how you're fishing for these fish. It's the same bait, it's just how you're presenting it to them. Let's throw it back in there and see if we can get them. So I'm gonna throw it in there and I'm just gonna pop my rod. Oh. Guys, there's no words. You know why there's no words? Because it's a proven concept. And guess what? You're hearing it from kicking their bass TV, just so you know. Oh my God, that fish a concussion. He came at me like that, so I, I freaked out because he came from like literally 20 foot away at like 100 miles an hour towards that bait. And I watched him wail on it. The top water action right there, baby. Just like that. Top water action on the old Texas rig curl. Little tiny guy. I don't know what these people are thinking trying to eat. That just shows you if you want to go out and catch fish. It catches big ones too now. We're going to go to another pond here in a little bit. I'm going to shut up now. Let's just go fishing. 
All right, guys, just got to the second pond. I want to catch some bigger fish because I know you guys are probably tired of seeing these little baits. So I'm going to show you guys how to catch some big ones. Ooh, wrong bait. On this, I did bring a chatterbait for fun because there might be some slaunches in here that I might have to hook out for you guys. If I can catch slaunch, then I'm going to do it. But let's, we're going to start off with this crawl. Let's see what we can do. Should be one right there. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. It's a big one on a chatterbait. It feels huge. Look at him just going. Oh, oh, he spit it. He was like six pounds. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's been so long since I caught a big one in here and I just knew that was a cast. It was like a freaking six pounder. At least I know they're in here. Oh my gosh. I lost a six and a three up under these trees in the shade. I'm just skipping this chatterbait right back up. Right back up under these trees. That's where these big ones are at in this shade right here. I just cannot, to the life of me, get one pinned and keep them on. I'm trying to get just way back up in there. I can, as you can tell, it's skipping all the way to the back. Oh, oh, he came off! Oh, come on, man. Why is this happening? I need to take my trailer. I just lost about 13 pounds of three fish. Have you had to catch a big one today? All right, I'm getting revenge. I put one of those trailers on so I can skip it up under there. That's three fish I missed, three big ones. So there has to be, I keep saying there's always another one, but gosh, I keep missing them. My rod just did not bend. The trick is getting it way back under there. So I just gotta get a clean old skip. Pretty much like, That's where they're at, baby. That ain't nothing big, but that's a solid two pounder. Look how he eats it right there. It's about skipping it back up in that shade. In the summertime, this fish really sit under there. And then you get some good quality bass like that. Let's get a release on them. All right, buddy. Please don't tell your friends. Oh my gosh, that, that might be it. I got sky like the brother man, uh I crack cars get hella bears, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with ass, uh I get it, get it up uh, anyway, uh pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money up uh, every day, uh